Hey folks, just doing a, uh, a quick video about uh, some batteries, about these 18650s uh, that I picked up. Uh, most of these batteries are made in China, and they're uh, lithium-ion batteries. And, uh, and you need to be careful with these batteries. They're easy to overcharge, uh, they're easy to undercharge, and if you mishandle them or if you mix uh, batteries of different current or um, different levels of charged, uh, like you have a half-dead and a full battery, and you put them together... Um, they'll try to transfer energy to each other. They can get very hot very quickly, and uh, they can be pretty hazardous. I'm not an expert, so if you want to start playing around with these types of batteries, go on the Internet and uh, get information and read it for yourselves. But the, one of the things I wanted to, to post about was um, these are some ultrafires, and I ordered an ultrafire flashlight that came with these, and they came with a charger. And the charger um, looked pretty bad. It, was, it looked like, like a 7th grade uh, science fair project. And I, I don't use it because the uh, charger itself didn't have protection, circuit protection for overheating, overcurrent, or undercurrent. Um, but these batteries, if you take a look at them, they say that uh, they have a charging, a recharging or discharging protection circuit. You can probably see it right there. And uh, if you take a look at these batteries, they do have uh, the circuit. They have the circuit added to the bottom of the battery on the negative side. And um, if you take a look at them and you compare them to unprotected batteries, you can see that they're a little bit taller. And that is a result, I don't know if you can see it in that, let me light them up. That is a result of the protection circuit. You can see it's a little bit longer. So anyhow, I got pretty good performance out of these ultrafire batteries. And uh, they're rated, you can see they're rated at uh, 300 um, milliamps per hour. I mean, 3,000, and that's that's really good. So I said, hey, you know, there I found some other ones on the Internet off of Amazon uh, for about $2.50 a battery. Now, 3,000 uh, milliamp battery should cost you between 10 and 15 bucks probably, but I, I thought I was getting a deal, and I ordered, and I got a four-pack of these, and I said, hey, they look good, and I had heard that there were some problems with fakes out there, but I got four of them, they looked the same, and I was using them in a... Um, in a power bank and I didn't have any problems with them. Um, the power bank did charge quickly and it did run out uh, reasonably quick um, but it started to lose performance and uh, so I got them out and I looked at them and I compared them to these other batteries. You can see the, the button tops look different um, and I saw that the bottoms were different. Oop. I saw that the bottoms were different and this one's marked ultrafire and it's not and then uh, I saw that they're different lengths and then I realized that these do not have a protection circuit, and they were sold through Amazon as a protected battery. So I was a little irritated about it. I think I paid about 10 bucks for four batteries, so it was about $2.50 a piece. Realized it was too good to be true, but uh, what I can tell you is I'll never buy ultra-fire batteries again. Uh, I'll only buy batteries that uh, are from a quality manufacturer. And uh, I just want to be careful, because I, I could have put these in something thinking they were protected batteries um, if I put them in a, in a power bank or in a charger that didn't have circuit protection and I could have had a problem so I will post something about it on Amazon but uh, just posting a video just to let everybody know that there are fakes out there you got to be careful and uh, make sure that you know what you're buying when you buy it